Uh, you're on record saying that you did not like Chris Paul. How has that? Has your, how has your perspective on that changed uh, since you've been able to work with him, play with him, if at all? Uh, I've had some conversations with him, um, with, with Chris, over the last uh, couple months that I haven't necessarily had. Um, not only with Chris, but just in my career. Uh, Chris, and, and I've said this before, too, uh, on the record. He's one of the smartest guys in this league. Uh, when, when you talk basketball IQ, you know, I've said on record, Chris Paul, LeBron James, Ray John Rondo and Rondo, like I've said that on record many times. And so, um, number one, we've had conversations, basketball conversations, that I've just been excited to have because in sitting and speaking with the guy with the – IQ level of a Chris Paul, for me, like I'm, I, I can get basketball geeky at times. Uh, I love the game of basketball. I think one of my best attributes as a basketball player is, a, is my IQ. And so, in speaking to a high IQ guy like Chris, for me, that's everything. Like, that's gold. And we've been able to share in those conversations. Uh, we've been able to share in a bunch of conversations. We've been collaborative on things, um, things that you do with teammates. We've, we've been doing, and in doing that, you start to get to know people outside of just what you're doing as far as basketball goes, and, you know, I'm starting to get, to, you know, I've started to get to know Chris better. Um, I didn't know Chris at all outside of competing with him. If you've ever watched Chris compete, he's kind of an asshole. You may say the same thing about me, um, and that's okay, uh, but... He's also one of the most competitive guys that you know I've played in, against over my 11 years in this league. I'm also an extremely competitive guy, and I'm not backing down from anyone. He's not backing down from anyone. That will bring some clashes, and it has brought plenty of them. When you look at uh, the last seven, eight years um, in the NBA, Chris Paul is right at the center of all of it. And guess what? So are we. And we weren't on teams. If there wasn't any hate, then I, you know, we everybody get to talking like, oh man, those guys are too friendly, or why are they working out together? This that in today's NBA. But then when you have competitors hating each other, then that's like, oh man, they hate each other. Like, how is that even possible? Well, you gotta pick a side. Like, you either want us to be friends and all work out together, and everybody accept it. Or you want us to hate each other. And in this case, we competed. Like, we're trying to get championships. And Chris was trying to get championships. And guess what? When you're competing for that, at the level that we've competed for that, that sometimes brings hate. Because we're going after the same thing. And that definitely had brought that between us. But look at the runs we were on. Houston was right at the center of that. The Clippers were right at the center of that. And so Phoenix was right at the center of that. So you look at in the league 11 years, we've been competing on a championship level for eight. He's at the center of six of them. Of course there's going to be some animosity, and there was a lot of it. Now in saying that, um, we're adults, we're men, and we have an opportunity to go do something special together would never let that go by the wayside. And, you know, and just getting to know Chris and seeing how he operates, seeing how he moves, how he carries himself, how he walk in, how he walks in the gym every day. Like, it makes sense of why he is who he is, why he's had the success that he's had. And and I'm growing to know that. I'm learning from that. I don't think you're ever too good or done too much to learn from someone. Chris Paul has been in this league, what, 18 years? Definitely somebody I can learn from. I'm excited about it. Uh, we're we're growing in more more facets than one, and it's uh, it's been an incredible start to it. And I know, like I said, for for both of us, um, the goal is to win. And I know he want to win, as we all know. And my goal is to do all that I can to make sure and help him win. And anything that happened before that, it happened. And it definitely doesn't change our past. Like, us becoming teammates. Don't change the things that's happened in the past. We have battled. 
and battle for sure. But I think the part that I'm most excited about is like you now get to know the person. And I know for myself and where I can probably relate to Chris, most people probably hate me that don't know me. I think if you get to know me, you don't necessarily hate me. But if you don't know me, you probably hate me. And Chris definitely got some of that himself. <laughs> if you don't know him, you probably hate him. You get to know him and you realize there's a competitor and a person. But, you know, it's not always easy to see that when, when you're in the heat of the battle. You know, when you step outside the heat of the battle, you can separate those two things. And I am thankful to have the opportunity to separate the two things.